Hello friends. Today we are going to learn the question answers of chapter number 6 Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. Question number 1. What do you mean by natural vegetation? Give the general classification of natural vegetation. The vegetation which grow of its own without the interference of human beings is known as natural vegetation. General classification of natural vegetation is forest grow where temperature and rainfall are plentiful. Grasslands grow in the region of moderate rainfall. Shrubs thorny scrubs and shrubs grow in the dry region. Question number 2. Name the factors affecting the vegetation and wildlife of a particular place. Answer. Factors affecting the growth of vegetation are altitude, height, slope, type of landform, temperature or climate, thickness of soil. Question number 3. Briefly explain about the tropical evergreen forest and tropical deciduous forest. Tropical evergreen called tropical rain forest receive annual rainfall from more than 200 cm. Remain green and do not shed their leaves at the same time. Found near the equator and close to the tropic. Hardwood trees like rosewood, ebony, mahogany, etc. Famous anaconda snake is found in the tropical evergreen forest. Tropical deciduous. These are called monsoon forest. Receive annual rainfall from 100 to 200 cm. Do not remain green and shed their leaves at the same time. Found in the large parts of India, Northern Australia and Central America. Hardwood trees like sal, teak and shisham are found here. Tigers, lions, elephants, langurs and monkeys are the common animals found in this region. Question number 4. Briefly explain about the temperate deciduous forest and temperate evergreen forest. Temperate evergreen forest located in the mid-latitudinal coastal region commonly found along the eastern margins of the continent. Example in Southeast USA, South China and in Southeast Brazil. Temperate deciduous forest found towards higher latitudes in the northeastern part of USA, China, New Zealand and in the coastal regions of western europe shed their leaves in the dry season common trees are oak ash beech etc animals deers foxes wolves and malfeasants and monals are found here question number five discuss the important characteristics of the mediterranean vegetation why they are known as the orchards of the world Answer, marked for hot summers and mild rainy winters. Citrus fruits such as oranges, figs, olives, grapes are commonly cultivated here. There is not much wildlife here, found along the west and the southwest margins of the continent. They are known as the orchards of the world due to fruit cultivation. Question number 6. Discuss about the forests found in the higher latitudes of Northern Hemisphere in detail. Answer. Coniferous forests are found towards the higher latitudes in the Northern Hemisphere. These are also known as taiga with tall soft evergreen trees. Taiga means pure. Silver fox, mink. Polar bear are the common animals found here. Question number 7. 
briefly explain the important features of tropical grasslands and temperate grasslands of the world. Tropical grasslands found along near the equator and extend till tropics grows in the area of moderate to low amount of rainfall. Grass is tall about 3 to 4 meters high. Example, savanna grasslands. Temperate grasslands found in the mid-latitudinal zones and interior part of the continent. Grass is short and nutritious. Wild buffaloes, bisons, antelope are common animals of their region. Question number 8. Discuss about the thorny bushes and tundra type of vegetation in detail. Thorny bushes found in the tropical deserts along the western margin of the continents. Vegetation cover is clear due to sandy rain and scorching heat. Tundra vegetation found in the polar regions of the world. Vegetation is limited here due to severe winters. Animals have thick fur and skin to protect. Thank you friends.